Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Thursday morning. As I record this morning, as you see it, it is the afternoon. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're right. I hope the day is treating you or has treated you very well. In this video, we're going to be talking about the EFL Carabao League Cup, Carling Cup, whatever you want to call it. The cup draw that was last night and who we picked out. Well, I say who we picked out, but who was picked out for us. We're going to be talking about the game today and just a Last sort of few minute thoughts ahead of the game today. So there's plenty to talk about, plenty to get into. Do you say that if you're watching this and you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. And yeah, let's start about the the game today because it's obviously the more pressing of the two. The 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 cup game's not going to be for a little while. Let's talk about the game today. So obviously Carabag at home, eight o'clock kickoff UK time, and it's a game that. I think look, we're all excited for the Europa League. We all think the Europa League could be something that. You no, know, Spurs could potentially have success in, okay? And obviously with the new system in place now with the with the with all European competitions, it's now a league based format. Now, if you've played football manager like I have, you understand the format very, very well. It's quite easy to decipher. If you haven't, it looks a little bit foreign and looks a little bit confusing. Don't worry. The most important thing is win your games, score goals, don't concede a lot. It's really it. Okay. If you win your games, you're all good. If you don't win all your games, but you 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 keep your goals, you know, in terms of conceded down, but your goals scored higher, you might do quite well. But in reality, win your games, okay? That's the simple matter of fact in all football, but in the Europa League, Champions League and the Conference League, it's the same thing. So with this game today, with, with Carabag at home being, uh, what, they're either tier three or tier four when they were doing the draw, and we're obviously we're tier one, they were tier three or four. This is one of the games that Spurs have to win. This is a must win for me. Go out there. Don't do what Man United did yesterday and draw one all at home to FC Twente and look terrible for it, which, by the way, when we're playing this weekend, you absolutely know they will hit their one game of the year where they hit God-tier mode and we have to deal with that because every team that seems to be we play plays their best football against us for the most part. But Man United are one of those teams that stink up the gaff 24-7 and then turn it on against Spurs because it's Spurs. So, by the way, expect that this weekend. But for more importantly for us, don't do what they did. That's a game they had to win, in my opinion. Now, they've got an easier draw than we do, in my opinion. But we will go into this game, and I think minimum two, three, four goals. I, I think win this by three. So if that's 4-1, 5-2, 6-3, whatever, win by three. That's my attitude. Go in there, dominate, have a great performance, score the goals, allow the rotational pieces to get a good amount of game time, let them get some form, make them push the players who they're rotating with and push them to play better. That's what we want. You know, if it's Archie Gray at right back, let him get 90 minutes. Let him push Pedro Porro's first team spot. Quite difficult because obviously Pedro's had a very good time at right back. It's not really a concern for us, but allow him to do that. There's talks that uh, Mikey Moore, Lancashire and Gunter are going to be in the squad today, which I think is great. It's great for the youngsters to get international, sorry, European football in the Europa League. I think with Mikey, I think Mikey, there's a chance Mikey could start. I don't think he will, but there's a chance he could start. I would love it if he did, but I don't think he will. Lancashire, I think, will come off the bench. And let, let's be honest, after 60 minutes, if you were to be 3 no up, trust me, they'll all be on. They will be coming on because... By that point, the game should be done and dusted. You might get one more even, but allowing them to get 30 minutes of football is invaluable. Five minutes here and there is fine, but at some point, they're going to need to get a bigger body of work on them. And this would be a great time to do that. Win the game by the 60th minute and get them on and let them do that. But if Mikey's to start, thrilled. I don't see Gunter starting, if I'm honest. I, I won't lie. But I could see Mikey starting, absolutely.